What is Donald Trump guilty of? United Press International. Donald Trump fraudulently inflated property values, judge rules. Former President Donald Trump fraudulently inflated the value of his real estate properties. Supreme Court Judge Arthur Engeron of the 1st Judicial District in New York denied a motion for summary judgment from Trump's legal team and granted, in part, a motion for a partial summary judgment sought by James. Engeron canceled all the business licenses for Trump and his co-defendants. By losing his business licenses, Trump could lose control over his properties in New York. It was among the most significant penalties sought by Attorney General of the Southern District of New York, Letitia James, in her lawsuit. Attorney General Letitia James vowed in her political campaign to get Donald Trump. She also has pursued the destruction of the National Rifle Association, which was foolish enough to base their headquarters in the state of New York. She is currently doing everything in her power to have the National Rifle Association dissolved. Can you imagine a Republican Attorney General attempting to have Planned Parenthood dissolved or the Sierra Club dissolved? But you cannot be permitted to have a Second Amendment organization if you don't serve the Democratic Party. You might be shocked to know also that Letitia James promised to take away Donald Trump's properties. Rise up and resist this man. When he leaves office as a private citizen, he will no longer have presidential immunity. Can we actually get him? <laughs> the New York Attorney General has joined the Manhattan District Attorney. Dad! Of this president, my number twenty six. You campaigned on a get Trump agenda. And we will rise up together and we will resist this president. Bring him down. Now, the judge in question, the Honorable Arthur Engeron, he seems to be a fair person. I found a speech here where he's speaking to student judges. I didn't even know they were student judges. Let's listen in. Uh, anybody know who John Roberts is? Maybe John Roberts Jr.? Oh, come on, somebody must know that. He's the Chief Justice of the United States. This is from eight years ago. Title. He's on the United States Supreme Court. I said New York State Supreme Court. He's on the United States Supreme Court. And at his uh, Senate hearing, I wanted to be approved or not, he was asked this question, you know, like, do you have an agenda, an ideology? He says, no. I'm not the batter, I'm not the pitcher, I'm just calling balls and strikes. And he's the umpire. And, and in fact, by the way, that's how I feel as a judge, I know I usually use the football analogy. I'm not getting beat up out there, I'm just saying, uh, is it a touchdown or not? Letitia James seems to have scored a real touchdown against Donald Trump. Look at that happy face. You and I are probably not experts on New York real estate law. So Trump's big crime here is he had false and misleading square footage of Trump Tower. He also inflated the values of the Mar-a-Lago residence in Florida. Did you know that? That a New York judge could say your value of a home in another state is something he can cite you for? I didn't know that. Let's just accept that we don't know as much about New York real estate law as this judge or the New York prosecutor and just go back to the opening question. What is Donald Trump guilty of? It's very simple. Donald Trump did not obtain the permission of the Democratic Party to run for office. Had Donald Trump simply remained a New York real estate tycoon who donated regularly to the Democratic Party, including to Hillary Clinton and Chuck Schumer, none of these lawsuits would have been filed. None of these charges would have been made. Everything that Donald Trump has been charged with can be distilled down to one crime. He ran for office without the permission of the Democratic Party. Become president without the permission of the Democratic Party, and some local official will come and seize every property you have and destroy your life. This is the legal system in America in 2023, and this judge should have known better. Thank you.